Okay, so this is my staircase so far. I started making the staircase roughly this time last year. And as you can see, it's still not finished. Okay, so I've got eight mil thick, 200 mil box section for the main spine of the staircase. I did a bit of trigonometry to work out the angles to cut. I've welded a, a plate on the top, but in that way, I was unable to bolt the plate to the joists before I put the plasterboard on. There's also a plate underneath, bolting upwards to the joists. And then I've welded the corner of those two plates to join them together to form um, effectively angle line or an angle, a large angle bracket. The plates are um, 800 mil wide. So there's 300 mil on either side of the 200 mil box section giving me a good um, good good area space for fitting a load of screws to the timber joists. So down here we've got 100 mil box section. I've welded that onto the sides of the 200 mil. This also is 8 mil thick. I've got 8 mil thick by 100 mil angle line. Um, then I've welded this side on that forms like a T shape. Over here, I've got these uh, steel stair treads here, which I did these, designed these on some CAD software called 2D Design. I'll just show you underneath. And then I sent them along to a company for them to laser cut in that shape, and then they folded them. They folded them all for me, that 90 degree there. And then I was able to weld them on as well. I was very careful, tacked them all on, I tacked them all on at first, just to make sure that the gap in between is consistent. Once it was consistent, I just continued the beads to weld across, right across, welding all 12 onto those. Um, where the steel goes into the floor there, into the floorboards, what I've got there, is I chiselled away a big square, 600 mil square of the uh, concrete subfloor, so I could I could sink some um, resin cast anchor bolts into the um, the bison beams, which is below the underfloor heating pipes. So it's got a good secure fixing. It won't be moving just yet. On top of the steelwork, we've got pitch pine. So this pitch pine, the history behind the pitch pine is it used to be the hip beams for the building that was on the site for where I've built this house. So the hip beams were in excess of six meters long. I kept the beams, I knew they'd be useful, plus I don't like throwing things away. So I kept the beams, I planed them, I borrowed a planer from work. I planed them down, I've routed a rounded edge on the top and then I've routed and sunken uh, a step and a rounded edge for the base. A few coats of varnish, just a satin varnish. Um, the original plan was to have a, a run of carpet, sort of three quarter width of carpet going up the centre of the stairs. but. After putting putting the pitch pine down, I thought it looked quite nice, and it would be a shame to keep it covered. After all, it spent its first hundred years of its life covered up inside a roof. So, just let it on show. I like it. I think it looks quite nice. A lot of history behind it. I've even got some history here. Some that annoying slime that the kids. Well, it's not really in fashion anymore. It was in fashion last year. So that's been ruined by some slime. I couldn't quite get rid of the, the residue from that. But anyway, moving on. I'm not bitter about that at all. So the next thing I need to do is I'm just currently working out 
the acrylic uh, side panels, so the balustrades. So I've got the balustrades to go on here to fill that gap. So there's one there, one there, two on the other side of the stairs, and then there's big one for the top there, and a little one over here at the top. I'm going to use 12 mil acrylic, have it laser cut, just finishing off the designs for them now. Um, I've got this plywood handrail, so the story behind that is, I like working with plywood, especially Russian birds, BB grade. I think it looks fantastic when it's all laid and on show. Um, I bought a load of 12 mil sheets, cut them all up, glued them all together. Can't really see it there. Glued them all together, put some, applied some weight, a few breeze blocks on top of it. And I've got a channel underneath for the acrylic to slot into. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that now, so if I don't, what I'll do is use that groove to put a strip of LED lights in there. And hopefully I can line up those LED strips to be right over the acrylic um, balustrades. And therefore the balustrades will allow light to be emitted through it from the LED strips. So I've got these grooves on both the diagonal stair handrails and the handrail that will be going across the top there, which will all be matching. Um, I suppose one of the delays, one of the reasons I haven't got the balustrades yet is because I'm looking at the fixings. There's, there is a slight bit of movement uh, when, particularly if you're sort of rushing down the stairs because someone's at the door, you've got a, an Amazon delivery or whatnot. So there is a little bit of movement. So if I, if I bolt the acrylic to the steel here and there, and that movement happens, the acrylic's more than likely going to shatter or crack um, within the first week. So I need to have some, some sort of uh, anti-vibration um, bush or like an engine mount type thing, but obviously not not to support anywhere near the weight of what, what an engine would weigh compared to the acrylic balustrades. Um, the next step of the handrails, I don't like the way that they are shaped because I laid them all up together. They weren't straight, therefore I took them to a local joiners in my village and they, straighten, they straightened it out for me on the, uh, I think they used the spindle molder, and then they put, they put this, um, traditional handrail shape on there. I don't like it. I'm probably gonna get my router and put some sort of, I don't know, a more square, just a more square design. I like, the fact that you've got some ergonomics in there and you feel safe holding on to it. But I just don't like the way it looks. It does not match the rest of the stair unit. So I'm gonna change how that looks, change the cross section of it to see, to get it to, to be more in line with the, um, the style of the staircase. So I've got that to do and finish designing the balustrades. So, next time, hopefully, you will see it all finished. And as usual, it's not perfect, but it's all right for a self-builder. <laughs>